Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is the 18th snowflake of our 25 snowflakes. This one is pretty simple. Um, a lot of the beauty of this snowflake is gonna come out when we starch it, so keep an eye out for that starching video that's gonna have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 in it. And in that video, I will show you how to starch this one. But it's another six point, and that's just three rounds. And let's talk about what you're going to need. You're going to need, you can make this, like I say in every video, you can make any of my snowflakes using yarn and any crochet hook that that yarn recommends. But for me, I'm using a size 10 crochet thread and a 1.75 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a stitch marker. You're going to need a needle to weave in your ends. And for mine, I used DMC number 22. Now these are normally used for embroidery and cross stitching, but they work great to weave in the ends of our thread and a pair of scissors. And that's it guys. So get your supplies together and let's get started. Okay, to start our 18th snowflake, Get a slip knot on your hook, and we're going to start with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into that first chain to form a ring. Tighten that down a little. Okay, chain one, and we're going to move on to round one, and that is going to be a double into the ring chain three ah, make sure you're working over your tail too one chain three one two three so we're going to repeat that five more times so we have six chain threes okay so three so there's two chain threes One, two, three. Double, one, two, three. Double, one, two, three. Hey. Dang it. Double. Nope. That did a half double on me. Double. One, two, three. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And there's our sixth double. We're going to slip stitch to that first double crochet. And that's the end of round one. Let me tighten that up a little bit and we'll deal with that tail later. So to move on to round two, we chain one and double back into that very first double crochet. And now into that chain three loop, we're going to work two doubles. One. Two, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, come back down, and we're going to work two doubles, one, and two, double crochet into that next double, And then into the chain three with two doubles. Chain six. Three, four, five, six. And come back down in there with two doubles. 
and then double crochet and oops that's not yeah double crochet into the next double so that's what we're going to repeat around into the chain three work two double chain six two double double into that next double into the chain three two double chain six two double double in that next double and just repeat that around and I'll meet you when we get to this last chain three okay so I'm coming around and I just realized I'm sorry you guys I didn't zoom in so if you need any help my email is in the description box of this video and all my videos at the very bottom just scroll all the way down and email me if you need any help but now to get back in closer we have that one chain three space left and that gets the one two chain six three four five six come back down with two doubles and we are going to slip stitch to the very first double right there okay and that is the end of round two so to move on to round three we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet right back into that same double we just slip stitched into mark that So now we are going to chain two, one, two, and then into this chain six loop, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, two, three, double, one, chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet again. Oops. So we should have one, two chain three loops now. So now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And come back down with a double. Chain three. One, two, three double chain three and then a double so we should have get this all straightened out here one two three four chain threes one, two, three, four, five, six doubles, and then one uh, chain five. Chain five's here. If I would be on camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now we chain two. One, two. We're going to skip two doubles. One, two. And into that next with a single crochet. And then we start the repeat over chain two come to that chain six loop and we're going to work a double chain three two three double chain three double now we only need two chain three loops before our chain five so now we we have our chain three so now we do our chain five one two three four five come back down for our double one two three chain three now we did our five so we have to have two chain three on this side of our chain five so we have one we work our double 
one, two, three, and there's our second chain three. So we come back and finish that with a double. Chain two, skip two singles. That's one and two, single crochet into the next. Now oh, come on. And start the repeat over. Chain two, get to your next chain six loop. So there's our chain two, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three. There's a two chain three before our chain five, so we double, chain five, double. Now we need our two chain threes. So there's our first chain three, double, chain three. There's our second, double into there, chain two, chain two, skip two, single into the next and start the repeat over again, okay? This is going to have to be one of those uh, snowflakes that we're going to have to adjust some stitches when we starch this. Okay, so just repeat that around and I will meet you on this last chain six, okay? Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I've worked the last stitches in that last chain uh, six and I've got my chain three, chain three, chain five, chain three, chain three. So now I'm gonna chain two and slip stitch to that first single crochet of the round. Okay, and that is the it, the end. I about said the it. <laughs> Now this one we are going to have to adjust a little bit after we get this starched, but it's going to be pretty. All right, so if you are going to use the little wire hanger, uh, for a uh, Christmas ornament hanger, you can just chain one and fasten off. But if you want to make your own hanger like I am, and of course weave in your in ends too, I'm going to chain one, pull up a long loop, cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and weave in that center tail real quick. Okay, so I've got that center tail weaved in. And now if I just kind of lay this the way it's going to be starched, I think this center tail is coming pretty much from the center of our poke uh, sp points of our snowflake. So I'm going to get this tail loaded onto my needle. And I'm gonna bring it in right next to it, right there. I'm just gonna go through some of these stitches. Wherever I can go is basically what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to stop and I'm going to determine the length I need for this hanger. And I'm going to go a little shorter than that. I'm going to go about there. Oh, zoom you guys out. Okay, so I'm going to go about there. And now I'm just going to finish weaving in these ends. I'm just going to go back and forth a few times. Hold your loop so you don't accidentally pull it uh, shorter than what you have it. Get off there. Get off there. One more time. Skip a stitch. Come back out. And there we go. That should lock it down. And cut. Okay. That's the end of 18, guys. We are so close to get being done. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this snowflake tutorial. Leave me a comment, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. 
check out my description box. I got all kinds of links down there for you guys. Uh, those links are like my Facebook group, my Instagram. Join all that stuff because I love to see the pictures of this. One day, and I've been, I've said this a couple of times to other people, but one day I wish YouTube will have it to where we can put pictures in the comments. So that way, you know, you can, some people don't use Facebook, some people don't use Instagram, some people don't use Twitter, some people don't use any of them, they just use YouTube. So then you can send me a picture so I can see. But one day, maybe, we'll see. Alright guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!